Hello, anybody, anywhere. I am here to announce that the biggest celebration in our faith is upon us. Here at Central, we don't call it Easter Sunday. We call it Easter week. It's a celebration that runs from Palm Sunday all the way to Resurrection Sunday. Listen, if you are a Christian, if you are a believer of Jesus Christ, then there is no bigger celebration in our faith than the celebration of Resurrection Sunday. Please keep it in mind, we call these days Holy Week. It's the day that we believe is most crucial to our faith, but it's more than that. If you believe in the Bible, then this is the most important event that ever happened in the history of humanity. And that's where we're gonna begin the celebration on Saturday, March the 23rd with our Feed the 5,000 event because we do nothing at this church without doing something to give back to our community. And then the celebration moves to March the 24th. We call it Palm Sunday. If you don't know anything about Palm Sunday, just make sure you are in the building at one of our three services of 8.30, 10.30, 12.30 at our normal locations as we celebrate the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem to begin the Holy Week experience. And then the celebration continues with one of the most unique worship services in our tradition. We call it the seven last words service. It's a service in which we hear seven short sermons about the seven sayings that Jesus made from the cross. If you don't know anything about that, just ask somebody who was here last year because this year we're taking it to another level. I have invited seven of Detroit's best preachers to come and share the word of God with us. Listen, meet us at our South Campus on that Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. And please be on time and in your seat because that first preacher is going to get up really early into the service so that we have time for everybody to preach. And then the celebration moves to that day that we call Good Friday. It wasn't good for Jesus because it was the day he was crucified, but it was good for us because it was through his death that we were given access to eternal life. And so you're gonna meet us at 6.30 at our South Campus. And get this, for all of you who are on the fast with us, Good Friday will be a free fast day. That's right, you get an extra flex day outside of your regular days, but you gotta be present at the Good Friday worship. At the conclusion of the service, we will go into our gymnasium and share a meal of fellowship together as we continue to just reflect and to have some connection in our community on this Good Friday service to see what this moment means for all of us. And then it's the big day. Uh, we call it the great getting up morning, Easter Sunday. Listen to this. We're doing it different this time because we're all going to worship together on Easter Sunday. You see, because of our times and our locations, we don't get a chance to be together. But this Easter, we want to be together as a church. So we've got one service at 11 a.m. at our unofficial downtown location at the orchestra hall you remember we were down there this past july as we celebrated my 10th pastoral anniversary and so we decided let's go back and let's bring everybody together at the conclusion of that service we will go to the park which is right next to that space where we will have the biggest Easter egg experience in the city for our young people. Listen, you know we're gonna have everything you can imagine from Easter eggs to the Easter bunny to candy to all type of magical things that's designed to make sure that our kids have a beautiful time after hearing the true story of the resurrection. Let's give them a chance to have some fun. This is the most important thing I need to tell you about this Easter Sunday. Make sure you are in the building for every single last service, but specifically on Easter Sunday, you have to promise that you will not come to that service by yourself. Easter Sunday is the greatest opportunity for us to share the gospel with our neighbors, our friends, and our family. Statistics suggest that 80% of people will say yes if you ask them on Easter Sunday. And so I want you to make a pledge today, I will not, to that service by myself and we believe that the gospel will be preached 
and that many lives will be saved and brought to Jesus Christ. I am here to tell you it's going to be big and we make no apologies about it. We're going to have a celebration that is fit for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So Central, get ready for Easter week 2024.